In today's Ariel's home video we will discuss about how deep are kitchen counters. A counter depth refers to the total depth of the work surface. To measure how deep are kitchen counters, use a tape measure. The standard kitchen counters are 25 half inches deep. This is the standard countertop depth, but your needs may be different based on your kitchen size and the appliance dimensions you want to use in your kitchen cabinets. Here are some other standard dimensions you might want to keep in mind. With your standard countertop depth of 25 half inches deep, you would use standard cabinets measuring 24 inches. Here's the standard kitchen countertop depth. How far do countertops overhang? The combination shown earlier will give you a one and a half inch countertop overhang of the work surface. This is something you can change. For example, in my kitchen countertops, I have almost no overhang giving it a much more modern look. The same applies when used with the kitchen island countertops. With kitchen islands, the overhang can often be as much as 12 inches deep. This will help to give you a dining table feel when you use the island for serving food. Usually, the overhang on kitchen islands and bars needs to be larger as it creates more knee space to seat the people. For comfortable seating around the island, the overhang should be 12 to 15 inches. How deep is a kitchen island? In the case of the kitchen island countertop depth, it usually starts from the same standard countertop dimensions. Basically, this island would be just a freestanding set of cabinets. But kitchen islands could be much larger. Double of the standard countertop depth or even more works well if you have enough room in your kitchen. What is the minimum countertop depth? The minimum countertop depth is 20 inches. The countertop depth is limited by the appliance dimensions. If you want to have cooktops and sinks installed then the minimum counter depth is 20 inches. In this case, the faucet has to be wall mounted. For a deck mounted faucet, you need even more space as the faucet needs a hole that further weakens the kitchen counter. The proper counter depth would be at least 24 inches and you should leave 4 inches behind the sink. How long are most countertops? There's no standard counter length. It depends on the layout of your kitchen and other considerations. For example, a standard 10 by 10 kitchen renovation usually includes about 20 linear feet of accessible workspace. This is divided between food prep work, room for appliances, sinks, and everything else you want in your kitchen. You can subtract the width of the counter depth refrigerator from the counter length. Usually, the length of a standard depth countertop is 8, 10, or 12 feet. These lengths work well with the standard counter depth and countertop thickness. If your kitchen is larger than the kitchen countertop is installed in several parts. How to measure counter depth, width, and height. It may be obvious for many people, but this is something you want to get right when planning for new countertops cabinet options and kitchen appliances. Countertop depth refers to the value you get when measuring directly across the countertop. Countertop width can mean two things. First, the overall length of the countertop can be several feet or even more. Then there's the width of one cabinet as shown in the image. Standard countertop height is usually constant in the same room. The most common number is 36 inches or 3 feet measured from the floor to the top of the counter. However, you can design a kitchen island that is as high as 42 inches. This will enable you to arrange for bar-style seating. Click on the YouTube video link in the description to watch a step-by-step -step guide to measure your countertop countertops and base cabinets. Standard cabinet bases generally measure 24 inches deep. Usually, your kitchen countertops are three quarters of the inches higher than the base cabinetry. They have to cover more than drawers or fronts. A kitchen wall can prevent food debris from being found and spills are easy to get rid of. How deep should base cabinets be? For base cabinets, less depth is better. They have to have the correct width and the correct depth. The standard depth base cabinets are 24 inches deep leaving a 1.5 inches overhang when used with standard depth counters. Deeper cabinets make you bend more to reach below the kitchen counter and strain your back. Base cabinets are not just a storage area near floors. You'll spend a lot of time in the kitchen using your cabinets. So, one idea would be to use drawers as the base of your countertops. Easier to reach for everything, less bending, more lighting. Factors determining the standard kitchen counter depth the countertop dimensions and depth ranges depend heavily on certain conditions. The main elements are the size of the base cabinets and appliances. The 25.5 inches countertop depth gives enough space for the items to be accessed easily. Typical kitchen cabinets are 24 inches deep. On the other hand, you want to maximize space for the food prep work surface. The wider the better, right? Not really. If your kitchen countertops are much deeper than standard counter depth then you may encounter several problems. Are wall cabinets accessible? Lower cabinets too deep? 
wall unreachable. You may have a lot of dead space. You spend money for accessible space not wasted space. Ease of use and ergonomics. The activities in your kitchen and around the countertop should be fun. If your posture while preparing food is not comfortable you can get sore shoulders and other body strains. Using standard depths and the standard width is not just for saving money, you will most likely also have a most comfortable setup. Of course, your needs may vary based on your taste, working habits, and even body size. But standard kitchen counter depth works for almost everyone. Some special considerations have to do with wheelchair users and other people who may have problems accessing cabinet drawers and cabinet doors. For wheelchair users, it is important to plan the space between counters. You can read the Americans with Disabilities Act Accessible Guidelines. Kitchen Countertop Materials your kitchen counter price is based on countertop dimensions and the material you want to use. For standard depth countertops, one linear foot means two square feet. If your countertop is 10 feet long then you have 20 square feet. Now you multiply that by the price of one square foot and you get your approximate price. Let's talk about some of the most popular materials and their prices per square foot. Granite countertop cost, $50 to $210, probably one of the most popular materials. Natural stone, very durable and adds value to your real estate price. Solid surface countertop cost, $40 to $90. Artificial material, relatively durable, can get damaged by hot pans. Marble countertop cost, $85 to $250. Marble seems nice and exclusive. It's expensive but it's porous and stains easily if not sealed. Quartz countertop cost, $50 to $165. It is engineered stone that's almost indestructible. It would be my top choice for countertops. The material is very heavy. Butcher block or wood countertop cost, $60 to $210. The surface can be cut and scratched by knives. Takes effort to keep clean. Laminate countertop cost, $10 to $45. The cheapest option. A huge variety of colors and patterns are available. A good option for a DIY project. And then, there's even more materials, available for countertops. What is the perfect kitchen layout? A U-shaped floor plan is the most ergonomic kitchen design for almost any size of kitchen. The working surface is on three sides. These countertop dimensions allow for longer linear footage and thus more storage space. You can arrange different items you cook separately on the counter and you get from one workstation to another by just turning around or taking a step. How deep should my kitchen countertops be? Now you know what to consider when planning kitchen countertop depth. For most people, the rule of thumb is to go with the standard kitchen countertop depth. The countertop with a standard depth will usually give you the most comfortable working area and save you money at the same time. Standard countertop could be bought from your local store and you could also save on hiring a kitchen designer. Thanks for watching till the end. Follow us for more kitchen and home design tips.